Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? I did not think I would be filming this as soon as this. First of all, hi, how are you guys doing? I'm doing great. I'm currently in New York, um, just here with a couple of, well, one of my friends from high school, middle school. And wow, I'm nervous. <laughs> I never thought I'd be really nervous filming this video, but I'm really, really excited. I secured the bag. It happened, guys. It happened. And let me just start with the story. Because, like, gosh, I'm <laughs> mess. Okay, so basically, um, I'm here for New in New York for three days. It's just Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and I leave tomorrow morning, which is Friday. And um, first day, we decided to go to the outlets. So I'll show you guys everything I did get from there. I got a couple things. One thing from Gucci, Mont Blanc, and Versace. And then next day was supposed to be going to um, Chanel and Hermes. Now, I went to Chanel first. Um, and then I ended up buying a couple things. One of them was an order, so I'll show you guys what I did get, but I don't have it in person. And then another thing was just one of the normal things I usually like to go and pick up. And then I walk into Hermes. <laughs> I walk into Hermes and um, I go up to the fourth floor, which is where, um, sorry about the music in the background by the way, but I go up to the fourth floor, which is where they have the sandals because I really like to just go to every store and buy some sandals if they ever have them in my size just because I have a bigger size so I asked the lady up there I'm like hey do you have anything in a size 41 or 42 I just want to get one of the colors I already have all the basic colors I'm looking for something newer so they offered me one that's one of the things I will unbox with you guys and then I talked to one of the ladies out there and I'm like this is something I do whenever I go into any Hermes just a side tip if you want to get one of these bags um, I was like, um, so how do I get my name on the list for a bag? That's always a question I like to ask. I don't like to ask how. Just be like, I'd like to get my name on the list with a bag with you guys. And the lady told me I have to like always call the day before or something like that. It always really, I think, depends on which store you went to. Now, I went to the Madison Avenue store. And the lady I spoke to, you, I think we couldn't really read her. So I didn't think this was going to happen. So I was letting her know, once we were checking out, she told me, here's my number, send me your wish list. I'm like, okay, cool, great. I'll send you my wish list, what colors I'm looking for, hardware, et cetera. We're now walking back to the car um, and we're about five minute walk away. And then she texts me. And she goes like, don't go far. I'm like, so I look at my friend, I'm like, I mean her sitting there like, <laughs> what's about to happen? She, and then I was like, I'm, I'm only five minutes away. I'm still here. I, I did not, because we were ready to go to the um, the edge, just kind of, like kind of a touristic site. And um, so I didn't go far. I stayed where I was. <laughs> it's was five minutes away. And she's like, I'll text you within five minutes if it becomes available. And I'm, in my head, I'm like, what, what becomes available? What's going to happen? What? So she texts me and she's like, come here guys, guys. I just got called back into Hermes to see if there's a break-in for me. Oh my gosh, I'll keep you guys updated. So I told my friend, go get the car. I'm running back to Hermes. I ran, <laughs> I went there. And um, she, I asked her what floor she was on. I texted her right as soon as I was walking in. She was like, I'm on, um, club floor which is apparently the ground floor or the floor for the bags <laughs> I walk in go down the stairs and she's standing right by a door she doesn't even say anything to me she does I'm like okay <laughs> so I walk right into the door I sit down and there's a box right there big pretty orange box and I'm like just, I'm I'm just in this belief at this point. I can't believe this is happening. And then she's like, I asked I asked her two questions, which I shouldn't have. I should have just shut up. I'm sorry about these people. But I was like, um, is it one of the colors I requested? Because I did send her colors I requested. She's like, no, it's even better. I'm like, 
okay. Like, is it the size I requested? She's like, yes. So I'm like, yeah. I'm like gonna party with these freaking people that are outside there. But um, anyway, let's just, just you know what? Let's unbox it. You guys ready? So I, I got a lot to unbox today. And I did get a little rodeo to go with it. So. Um, I did get a bag. It happened. And I'm in disbelief. I could not believe it. So let's go ahead, unbox it. And I mean, at this point, I already told you how you can secure one. It was as easy as pie for me. I can't believe it. So let's go ahead and unbox it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And she's a beauty. Probably doing it the wrong way. <laughs> Which way is it? <laughs> oh. I'm doing it the right way. Okay, it's this way, guys. I already put the toy on there, but I'm gonna turn this a little bit like that just so you guys can see. Are you guys excited? Now, obviously, you can tell probably what it is, so I'm gonna take it out of here. Baby, you guys ready? Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh my god, it's so tight. Here we go. Ready, guys? <gasps> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Are you mine? So I got the gray. I forgot the name of it. Something with an E, but Attain, I think. And. <laughs> I know nothing about this bag because I don't even I didn't even ask her, but it does have the rose gold hardware. Which surprisingly doesn't look too bad. I'm not a fan of rose gold. Everything I wear is gold. But this is actually stunning, which is why I got the pink toy for it. Let's just open her up. These people are partying. But you know what? I'll party with them. this thing so yeah guys i got my very express <laughs> i guys i'm gonna tell you i'm shocked i didn't think this was gonna happen i absolutely did not think this was even possible for, for it to happen for me um let me get this out so yeah here she is i didn't even open her up just because i wanted to do it with you guys take this thing off there we go. Looks a little twirly. <gasps> Guys, this is freaking! Oh my goodness! Let me fix this little part. What do you guys think? Isn't she beautiful? Okay, let me tell you what it is. So, like I said, it's the gray. I think it's the tan. Is what it is. I'm not sure. I think it's either Togo or. Epson, you guys probably know better than I do. I'm a Chanel girl. This is my first time getting in her mess bag. Um, it is the 35. I am 5 foot 10. The 30 just looks crazy on me, and so does the 25. I've always wanted the 35. And with the rose gold hardware, which again, I'm not a fan of, but this is stunning. I am obsessed with the back side. Do you love it? I'm obsessed. I never thought I would be here, guys. I never thought I would be in a position where I could be offered a Birkin. And I'll tell you the one trick is I told her how bad I wanted it. I told her I'm willing to fly out there next day if one becomes available. And I think she saw that passion in me and how bad I wanted one. And I finally got my first one. So many more to come. They said that we are only a lot limited two per year. So I might get one more this year. And yeah, but here she is. She's a beauty. I guess I'm filming in my friend's room. This is not my normal filming station, but like, I don't care. I honestly don't care. But yeah, guys, what do you think? Let's go ahead, unbox the Rodeo and put it on there. Set her right here. 
did get a Rodeo. So let's open this one up. She did show me a Pegasus one, but I'm just not, eh, whatever. I prefer this one, I think. A little pink one to match. How cute. It does set this girl up. Okay, so I'm gonna set the Rodeo on here as well. Okay, so let's see what comes inside the bag really quickly. Just some covered in this stuff. You do get this as well, and I, I'm gonna figure out how to put it on there. I, I'm sure I already do know, but I'm okay with just the Rodeo on there. And yeah, so this is she. She's a beauty, and I am so honored to be her owner. <laughs> I did go ahead and order the same exact Twilly to put on the back just because I'm going to be like extra careful with her just until maybe it becomes like my Chanel collection hopefully one day. Um, it's just obviously a little more pricier, which I think you guys do want to know. So I will run you by everything, how much the total amount I spent on the bag, Twilly, the Rodeo or Rodeo, people call it either one. And then I'm going to show you the sandals in a minute and then we'll go over everything else. But yeah, guys. There's the bag. Okay. All right, guys. So let's go over pricing just because people are not entirely always sure how much to spend on a Birkin. Now, a lot of them, I mean, I can go sell this bag tomorrow for way more and make profit, but I'm not going to do that because now it's my first Birkin. I don't want to lose that bond with it. So total price four taxes and I'm gonna go individually the rodeo Twilly, and then the Birkin itself the rodeo was $460 before taxes the Twilly, like all you guys know is $180 before taxes so I did order I did get two the other one is being shipped to my house um, and then the Birkin was $12,300 it's a lot of money guys <laughs> But again, it, this is for me an emergency. <laughs> like, I always look at it in the case of it is an investment. It is something that is going to grow with me in time. And yes, it, it's gonna hurt a little bit, but I'm gonna be okay. And I'm gonna make it up immediately. Um, I'm thinking maybe should I sell something, but I don't think I want to. I love her. <laughs> but yeah, the total price with taxes came out to 14000 $88.49 um, for someone buying her first Birkin it is a lot but now I know what to expect I know what to get myself ready for um, and since this wasn't a color on my wish list even though I did want a gray I wanted to get a gray Chanel actually the new gray that's coming out is stunning but I think I'm I think I'm golden now to kind of not get the Chanel I have the Birkin um, I eventually do want a Kelly 25 or 28, and then I want some Birkin, not more Birkin 35s in other colors. But yeah, guys, that was the Birkin. I hope you guys love that. Um, I'm gonna put it back in its bed because that's what they call it, and then I'm gonna show you guys everything else I did buy. Let's see, bye bye for now. Love you, babe. Bye. All right, guys. So next up from Hermes, I did buy a pair of sandals. Um, let's go ahead and unbox those. I can't believe. They offer me this color. The thing is with Hermes, guys, and I think you guys are all gonna realize this is Hermes plays a game. And the game sucks. So literally they even played the game with the sandals initially with me. So I went upstairs and I told them, hey, I'm looking for a size 41, 42, and they're like, we only have the white, gold, and black. I'm like I already have those. Um, so I was like, Can you guys just check? I'm open to 41, 42, or I'm open to ordering right now and paying right now for it. So they saw that and they were like, okay. So they went back there and they got me two different colors. I loved one of them, but I'm not gonna spend 1700 on lizard skin, sorry. If I'm gonna spend money, I'm gonna spend money on something I actually really want, not just because I see it, but it's 630, cool. I'm okay with that. So they came out with another one. They, they pulled up another one. And this is a color that was already, um, is really popular right now. So I could not believe they had this in stock. I got it in a size smaller than what I usually wear, but it fit me okay. So let's go ahead and open her up. 
it is. I'm gonna give you all a minute to think about it. And I'm gonna tell you it's not the green, I wish it was, but they just sold out of their green one. But yeah, let's take a look. Voila. It is this beautiful blush pink tone. Aren't you guys obsessed? Isn't this beautiful? So yeah, these are um, $630, so they're not too bad. Um, I think I love this kind of setup more than the normal ones. I have a darker pink in this that actually is the same color as that rodeo, um, which is why I got that rodeo to kind of like have a matching set. And I love the way these wear, they're so comfortable. So yeah, that's that from Hermes. That's everything from Hermes. <laughs> and it's just, it's really like crazy to me how I got so lucky and I'm very thankful and alhamdulillah and for those who don't understand I'm just basically thanking God that I was offered something like this and I was able to get it. Next up, let's go into everything I picked up. Um, actually, let me do Chanel really quickly before I do outlet. I did buy two things from Chanel. One of them, like I said, is on the way so I can't do, the, unfortunately can't do an unboxing but I'll do it on my Instagram, go follow me. Um, I'll go ahead and link it down below. But um, they're the boots, and I'll see if I can insert a picture somewhere to talk, show you which ones they are. I've been trying to get them since last year. And when I walked into the Chanel store, I had my lady in Manhattan who I love. Um, she was able to order me a pair. They came back this year. And I know it's summer, but you know what? Never too late to get ready for winter. Just because I do live in the East Coast and it does get pretty cold. I, granted, I live in North Carolina. It still gets really cold. So I'm from the desert. Anything gets really cold for me. So I did buy a little thing from Chanel just because I was there and I was like, why not? Um, so I bought, I mean, you guys know what these are. Well, earrings, show them to you guys really quickly. They're one of their classics that a lot of people do have. Um, and they're like, see, they're not seasonal. They have them every year. And they are these ones. Aren't oh, these so cute? I I, th I think the reason why I got these, I like these for if I ever have to wear like silver shoes with silver jewelry with like an evening dress, this would be perfect. I don't have any silver jewelry much. Um, so I was like, why not? And just kind of like do it where if I was just going to an event. So this is really, really cute. Yeah, and that's everything from yesterday how are you guys doing so far are you here with me because i y'all don't even know i was speechless for the whole freaking day just thinking about what the heck just happened like i'm gonna tell you guys it's such a surreal experience to i can't even looking at it i can't believe it it's such a surreal experience and after i was told that we were limited a certain amount a year i don't want to have to lose on the fact that i can get another one this year so I'm definitely gonna have to save up. I, I I don't make enough money to be like just blow on Birkins every month. Um, I mean, I can if I really wanted to, but that'd be stupid. Um, I'd rather put money in my savings where they need to be. So I think I'm going to save up for November or December before, right before the end of the month and then come up to New York for about a few days and see if I can get, the, the one I really want is the red. I. Something about the red brick and the gold hardware, and I don't even mind the plating hardware. Love, 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 love. Okay, let's go ahead and go into the purchases from um, the outlet. I'm gonna start with the most, should I start with the most exciting one? Yeah, let's go ahead and start with the most exciting one. I found a pair of boots from Gucci, and I've been wanting some shoes. So, I bought these boots before I bought the Chanel ones, because I thought I had completely given up on the Chanel ones. I even told my essay that, and then of course, the next day I found them. But it's fine, I'll have two pairs of boots for winter. So I unboxed that. And here they are, guys. They're more like winter boots, so they're not like the Chanel ones, which is fine. But yeah, guys, look at those. How freaking you, do you guys like them? I just gotta figure out how to tie these laces, but yeah, they're that. I got them in a size 42. And price wise, let's see if I can find the receipt. I have it in here. The receipt in here, yeah. The 
receipt. So I don't know what, what I think it retailed for maybe a thousand something. I'm gonna assume it retails as much as the current boots. So I'm gonna say about a thousand two hundred or between a thousand to a thousand two hundred. Um, and I bought these for five hundred fifty-five dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So I was like, heck yeah, it's a steal. Um, no freaking brainer. So. There's that, I mean, I got boots for basically free. Gucci boots. I'm not complaining, you know. All right guys, let's go over two more things and then we'll be done. And I'll kind of like sum up my whole experience. Thing. This is so cute. I, okay, I think you guys are all gonna know something. I am such a winter girl. I, even though I grew up in a desert, I love the cold, so. I did get something when I walked into the closet. Oh, it's for fun. Saw this. It is ready to wear. Let's go ahead and unwrap her. And it is a Medusa sweater. I did buy him buy it in one of the bigger sizes just so I can wear it kind of like with biker shorts. So, yeah. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I love it. Uh, I think it's super classy. I would totally wear it with Birkin, just because why the heck not? And um, with some biker shorts and Yeezys, just that's how I, I would personally style it. You guys tell me in the comments below how you would style it, and then I would definitely listen to that. I'm not one to wear um, a lot of designer clothes. It's just not my thing. Um, but I do definitely want to just try to get into more of the basics. Just I, all I do wear is Zara basics, Fashion Nova basics, h and I kind of strayed away from, so just Zara and Fashion Nova Basics. Um, so that's kind of like my favorite thing. And the price I paid for this after taxes, or I'm just say, gonna say before taxes, was $350. So not too shabby. All right guys, one more thing and we are done. I did buy something from Mont Blanc just because I wanted to get something for my dad and I got something for myself while I was there as well. So one of the things I've already opened up, I'm sorry guys, but I don't care, <laughs> is one of their little notebooks. I got this for I think $59. I'll tell you exactly how much I paid for it. But yeah, I, I love to journal and I love to write. So I was like, a notebook. And what goes really well with a notebook, guys? I may have gotten myself a little pen. I'm gonna tell you guys now, because a lot of you guys are gonna beat me up and be like, oh, why didn't you get the pens they're known for? Um, with my line of work, <laughs> with my line of work, I sign a lot and I notarize. So I need to um, basically find a lighter pen, because a heavier pen for me would just, my hands already get tired with a normal pen. So the heavy pen is gonna get really tired. Um, so I decided to get myself a lighter, more affordable pen because I will be abusing the heck out of it. Um, it still comes in this beautiful little box. And voila, there you go. It's red and gold. Has the mobile right in the front. And yeah, I made sure to get it with writing blue ink just because I love blue ink, so why not? But yeah, that's that. And then I have one more thing, which is not for me. I actually bought this for my father, who I love so very much and just Wanted to kind of gift him something nice. Um, I got him one of the men's belts. So I'll show you guys that really quickly. And then I'll kind of sum up my conclusion about Hermes and everything. All right, guys. Last thing over here. This belt. Kind of like a reversible belt. So, hey, girlfriends, if you're watching, this is a great gift, especially from Outlet, for your mans um, or your father or whoever. Or yourself if you want to wear them. It doesn't really matter. It is a reversible belt and it gets cut to size. I love the little buckle and the, like the one wall emblem right there. So this is beautiful. But yeah guys, that's everything. Alright guys, so to sum it up, it's been a whirlwind. I did not think this was gonna happen. So like I said, if you are really on the hunt for one, you have the money for it. You don't think it'll break your bank too much. I'm gonna tell you just from watching a lot of YouTubers saying their process, it's not as hard as it may 
like look. It did take me going to four different Hermes stores. I went to Dubai, I went to Miami, and I went to Chicago. And I'll tell you what all of them said to me. They're like, you have to be loyal to me and buy from me. So they made me spend money with them. And every single time I contacted them to buy something, they never responded back to me. So I was like, well, that sucks. So when I went to her, I don't know, but I got this kind of like feeling about her. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna buy something from her and then tell her how bad I really want this bag and how loyal I'm willing to be to her. And then she calls me back and tells me about the bag. So I told her, look, I'm not buying anything from any of my other MS essays anymore because I'm not gonna be spending my money with people who are not gonna help me. She helped me instantly. So know that it is possible. I never thought I'd be saying this. You guys, I never thought I would be holding. I never thought I would be holding one and that it would be mine. It's possible, guys. You can get it if you want to. Just realize that Yes, build that connection. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. I've heard people say that you have to buy their jewelry. Be considerate. No. All I've been buying is orange sandals. And maybe some small leather goods and scarves. Literally. It's okay. You can go to the store, make friends with an essay, because the essay is the way to go in. I always tell people, every single time you go into an RMS store, ask them to see one, they have one to sell. They don't like to probably say this, but I'm pretty sure they do. So if you are a customer, you haven't spent thousands and thousands of dollars. I haven't. I think the most I've spent there was maybe $3,000 putting all the sandals together, um, bracelets, good um, leather goods and all that stuff. Three, four thousand dollars $4,000. And then I just spent 14 grand in one day like that. It'll happen. So always just know that if you want something it'll come to you i can't believe it came to me i'm so so grateful and um yeah if you guys enjoyed this video please let me know down below give me a like give me a subscribe and um definitely more to come i'm so grateful and so thankful for all of you guys i know um i'm still not exactly where i want to be um but as soon as we hit that thousand dollar a thousand thousand subscribers i have an amazing giveaway coming up and it can, it can be either Chanel or Hermes, one of the two. So subscribe, comment, go follow me on Instagram, tell me what you want to see more of. And yeah, I think that's everything I have for you guys today. I love you all. I'm so excited and go follow me on Instagram to see more. Have a great day guys.